looks like that's a scary, scary situation. Tonight on News 12, 150 Pelham residents evacuated after an underground electrical fire sends deadly gas into their apartment buildings. The winds and things flying and the lightning just all over the place. The wild weather downs dozens of trees and power lines across Westchester tonight. Thousands are still without power and still trying to clean up. And a young man is found dead, apparently drowned at the bottom of a country club swimming pool in Chappaqua. You are watching News 12 Westchester, serving Westchester and the Hudson Valley. Now, the evening edition. Firefighters checking carbon monoxide levels in the basements of several apartment buildings in Pelham. The, the buildings had to be evacuated because of dangerously high levels of the potentially deadly gas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Janine Rose. And I'm Brian Conybear. It's all related to this wild weather, the four-day heat wave. Taxed power lines and one underground transformer apparently caught fire in Pelham, and it wound up forcing 150 people from their homes. It happened this morning on 5th Avenue in Pelham between 2nd and 3rd Streets. News 12's Grace Noon is there with a story you'll see first here on News 12. Grace. Well, Brian, the power is back on and people can go back into their apartments. Store owners give them the okay to open up shop. But Con Edison is still here repairing that transformer and that could take a little while longer. The street shut down. 77 apartments evacuated after carbon monoxide levels rose in the basements of these buildings in Pelham. It was frightening. It was uh, really frightening. About 150 people like Lisa Salerno awakened by firefighters around 6 Wednesday morning. They left their apartments, many with their pets. The sounds of emergency crews filling Fifth Avenue. <laughs> Carbon monoxide, that's a scary, scary situation. We went back to sleep, and then we woke up lazily at like 8.30, came down, and we were wondering why all these fire people were here. Firefighters put out a transformer fire, but after the power was turned back on, an underground wire started smoldering. That's when carbon monoxide levels were 20 times higher than normal. It could have been extremely dangerous. People were very lucky, the village was very lucky, and we're happy everyone got out safely. Con Edison crew spent the day repairing the damaged transformer, but no one could go back inside the apartments or shops. Deli owner Dean Katz lost thousands of dollars in business. You know, Wednesday's a big day for us, ordering deliveries and all that kind of stuff, and uh, losing your whole inventory of what you had in stock. You had to throw everything out. Everything went in the garbage today. Just when it appeared as if all carbon monoxide levels were returning to normal, monitors showed levels in some of the basements were still elevated, so that meant the waiting had to continue. I'm happy that the local library has, has internet, you know, because we could work, we do all our work from there, so. Red Cross is on the scene. They've been providing food for emergency workers and for some tenants throughout the day. And there will be a cooling center open at the Durango townhouses here on Fifth Avenue for anyone who needs some relief. And also dinner will be served for them during the evening. Reporting from Pelham, Grace New, News 12 Westchester. There are an awful lot of action there, Grace. Thank you very much. Janine, you've got more. Yeah.